I'm gonna be talking about adding roles to next off. So after you've installed next off, it'll give you this basic user and session and account models and your schema.prisma file. To add a role, we'll first need to add something to the user model to make it so we know which role is to which user. To do that, we just add an optional string to the user model and then run the migration on that. After that, we'll need to edit the type of the user in the session. So in types, there's this next auth.d.ts and you can place this in your source or wherever in your application, you'll just have to make sure it's added to your tsconfig.json. See how this is in the includes. So once you've done that, we can actually edit the next auth and override the user type and also the session type. So here on the session type, you can see that I've set is admin to be a Boolean. This means wherever we use the session in our application, it will now have this is admin type. And same with the user type. So we extend the default user and add a role to match our model in our database. Now we need to actually set the role and the is admin on the user when we're actually loading the user into the session for our application. So to do that, go to source, pages, API, auth, and then next auth. So this is where the session data is actually set. Here you can see we check if the session has a user and if it does, we set the is admin to be if the role dot, if the user dot role is equal to admin. This will just set the Boolean on that. Now we can use that session is admin Boolean anywhere in our application. For example, in the server, we have this API routers in the post router. You can see how I've used it here. So let's say a admin will want to delete some post in Jibber, our federated social network we're building, subscribe for progress. So we want the admin to be able to delete posts, right? But we also want the user to be able to delete their own post. So here I check if the user is an admin. If the user is an admin, then just delete the post by filtering on the ID. But if the user isn't an admin, we only want them to delete their own post. So we filter on a unique constraint of both the ID and the person's profile ID, meaning the person who created the post, their profile ID, their current profile has to match the profile ID on the post along with the ID of the post. So then we use this filter variable and actually do a Prisma delete where these filters match. So you can see how you can now build out using this ad as admin variable in other places. Like you might want to be able to ban a user, but only the admin should be able to ban users. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm gonna make another video on actually creating scripts to make certain users admins. Keep in tune for that uh, video. That'll probably be next. Thank you very much.